Hello, Driving Intelligence community. For those of you following and waiting for my fuel economy results, moving from 355 gears to 410, this is the video you've been waiting for. I took my highway loop today at 65 miles per hour, but you're going to have to wait till the end to see what the results are. But while you're waiting, please take a moment to smash that like button. Please comment. Those are the two engagement elements that help my channel grow. That's the only payment I'm looking for from you. Now let's get on with the results. So what delayed this video? I was having trouble with my SCT X4 custom tune from 5 Star. The custom tune I received from 5 Star increased transmission shift pressures and with the new gears my 1-2 shift was so hard I was concerned I might do transmission damage. I hooked up with Richie at 5 Star and he's gotten me on my way to sorting out my issues. Now I just posted a video showing how adjustments can be made to the SCT X4 tunes which includes reducing transmission line pressures but these adjustments were not enough. The last tune file from 5 Star reduced shift pressures and also part throttle shift RPM making for a much more comfortable ride and in fact takes better advantage of the 410 gears. Now before I go forward I just want to talk a little bit about reducing shift RPMs. The original custom tune I got was based on a 355 gear set which is, as we all know is pretty tall. It's not bad but it's pretty tall. But when you put oversized wheels and tires on there it just really makes that engine struggle. So they delayed the shift RPM to closer to 2,000 RPMs from the original stock, which was probably 11, 12, 1300 RPM. That enhanced the drivability of the vehicle, but, it, but it's a lot more RPM. The 410s don't require that, so they reduced that shift point to about 12, 1300, maybe it's around stock again. And the drivability is still fantastic. The vehicle is still highly responsive. And I think what I'm going to see when I finally get some effective tests with this new tune is that my city fuel economy is going to go up. But that's, that's a future video. All right, so I'm smack dab in the middle of my fuel economy loop. I'm doing 65 miles per hour, which is what I did with the last fuel economy loop. Other similar things that I've done, I'm, I'm in the exact same location, driving down 85 toward Atlanta. Uh, so it's got some minor grades. I've used this exact same fuel pump and I've started this fuel economy loop in the exact same location I started in previously. So this is going to be a true apples to apples comparison. Now before I get into the fuel economy results, I'll just tell you some of the obser observations that I'm going through. The vehicle is dramatically quieter. I've mentioned that before in the last video. It was because of wear issues and I'm assuming that you know the bearings, you know, with a vehicle with 232,000 miles on it's going to have a lot of a lot of wear issues, although I'm confident this truck would have gone at least another 100,000, 150,000 miles without any problem. It's, it's showing signs of wear. The new gears, new bearings, everything replaced in that part of the drive line has made this significantly quieter. What's even more interesting is that the engine noise is much reduced, even though I'm turning more RPMs. And that's because the engine is not working hard at all to push this four or 5,000 pound vehicle around even going up grades like I am right now. I know, I know, you want the results already. But let's start with the EPA fuel economy rating of the 2002 F-150 4x4 with the 5.4 engine. The EPA rated this truck at 12 miles per gallon city and 16 miles per gallon highway, but I don't think any of us have ever heard of anyone getting the actual EPA rating on the highway. The average fuel economy of owners came in at 13.8 combined miles per gallon. Now comparing this to my results, before I go further, please remember to crush that like button to push this video on to other viewers. My real world test will be compared to the EPA ratings and this table shows key elements of my evaluation. The mechanical configuration of the truck is shown at the top. The next two lines are month of test and use of air conditioning, fuel octane and performance tune used, if I experienced any downshifts during the test loop and finally the fuel economy result. The month of the test is important when considering ambient temperatures. I did not record these temps, but intake air was much hotter in June and July, which will affect engine performance. And I used air conditioning to keep cool during the 410 gear tests that I did not need in May with the 355 gears. I can only guess that the EPA loop used 87 octane gas, but I used 89 octane in all my tests. The 87 performance tune from 5 Star was used for the first two tests, and I experimented with the 93 performance tune with some minor timing retard to see if this tune improved results. I experienced many downshifts with the 355 gears that were eliminated with the 410 gear set. And drum roll please, the moment we've all been waiting for. The 355 gears delivered 20.56 miles per gallon, 
410 geared with the 87 performance tune delivered 20.78 miles per gallon, and a 93 performance tune with the 410 gears delivered 20.09 miles per gallon. I'm a little shocked the 93 performance tune didn't perform better given the more aggressive timing curve, but ambient temps being higher might have played a role in the lower performance. But as I said when I started this re-gear series, 410 gears should deliver better highway performance than 355 gears with everything else the same. To be honest, the mileage performance is so close it's a wash, but now I get better throttle response, better towing capacity, and more fun in the seat of the pants with the same efficiency. You should look at my prior videos that show how I got over 22 miles per gallon with this truck with the stock wheels, slightly oversized tires, and 355 gears. That by itself tells you something. I still feel there's improvement to be made with a 93 performance tune, but adjustments need to be made and I might consider a dyno tune in the future to maximize my setup. You should check out my fuel economy videos linked in the description and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my future video showing changes to 0-60 to performance with the 410 gears. Until next time, ciao for now.